Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing this face, my name is Rar Sumaraibi. On this channel, I film contents about graduate school, sustainability education, lifestyle, and finance. So I've had a couple of people send me direct messages with their GRE scores, asking me if this was a good score to apply for graduate school in the United States and what schools they should apply for. So the graduate school application process considers a lot of factors um, and I've actually broken this down in a couple of my previous videos that I'll be linking um, right to this video and down in the description box. So in those videos, I actually broke down the various steps um, in the graduate school application process and even how to get full funding for your graduate school. So if you have not um, seen that video yet, um, please go click on this link and watch this video, especially as um, application season is um, opening up this new month, September. Um, but in this video, I want to focus on how you can actually find your best fit um, in terms of graduate school. Schools that will admit you for your program of choice with your GRE score and your GPA. I know it can be cumbersome to start um, searching from schools from Google because you have a lot of schools and you don't know which one would actually accept um, your GRE score or even accept your GPA. So I'm going to be sharing with you two tools that can help streamline that search to about like 10, 5, 20 schools so that you can um, start, um, have a list of schools that you then go deeper into. So um, without further ado, let's dive into how to use these tools. So the first tool on the list is GradTrek. So when you get to gradcheck.com, you can try out this search engine tool. In here, you can choose what type of um, level of program you're looking for, either doctoral, master's, or certificate level. I'm going to choose doctoral. Are you interested in online degrees? If you're not, you can put exclude online. Um, what specific degrees or subjects are you looking for? You can actually type it in. So let's just say environmental. Yeah, environmental engineering. Um, next, if location is not important, you can pick no. Tuition. You want as um, low tuition as possible, then you put a great deal next and ask for your GPA, your undergraduate GPA. So remember that this is based on a scale of four. So if your undergraduate GPA is on a scale of five or six, you have to convert it to a scale of four. So let's say we have 3.0 GPA. Then it asks you for your GRE and TOEFL score. So let's just assume that this applicant has 115 verbal, 115 quant, and let's say 3.0 in writing. And so let's say he has or she has a total TOEFL score of 90. Next. Based on what um, was put in, you can see that you match just like two PhD programs, one at the University of South Florida and another um, at the State University of New York. So this is really based on what you put in. If we try another, if we go back and just change some things, so let's still see doctoral, let's try chemical engineering. I'll move anywhere. Tuition is a great deal for me. Let's just say 100 for 24. 
you can see the, the result has changed now i have 11 matches so it's really based on what you put in so if you have if you've written the jar already and you're not sure what school would accept you and you don't know where to start from this is a good source to start from so this has 11 um, matches for the um, scores I, and GPA I put in and so since I have this list now I can actually now go to this um, school's website this program website in um, the individual schools to actually see their specific requirements the second on the list is the Princeton review so just like grad check, um, you can also put in um, the details that I asked for. In this place, it says college graduation year. So what year did you graduate from college? So let's say 2010. Mm, let's say your undergraduate GP out of 4 was 3.5. You've done only BS. You want to start in fall 2022 maybe you have just three years of work experience and it asked asks for your program of interest so the thing with the princeton review it's limited so here you just have um a couple of program of interest that you can choose so let's see let's say communications so you continue it asks you whether you've taken the GRE and if you have you put in your score let's say 150 and 140 140 and let's say 3.0 again yeah so just fill in all of the details Then you contact him for when you're done, click on show featured school and these are the list of the match school. It shows four schools. It's more is limited, like more limited than um the grad trek, but at least you can um see some list of schools and then go into the website, like I said, individually to see um the details in that program. So I'm going to show you a four, uh, a third tool, um, but this tool doesn't um ask for your GRE, but it's also still a good way to start your search. Um, and that's the Petersons, petersons.com. So when you come to petersons.com and you want to start searching for grad school, you can go to grad schools. And yeah, it asks for, you can start by, if you know the name, major location. So let's just say we're just starting. We know we want to study. Um, so let's start with major. Um, so what major should we check for? Let's say public health. So you can see that um, there's a filter. When, when, when you search for public health, there's a filter. So you can actually come here to seek what you want. If it's masters you want, if you want masters and doctoral, so let's just say doctoral and tuition. I know most of the time you'll be looking for funding. I remember if you want to know how to fund your studies, um, I'm leaving videos that I've talked about that down in the description box. But yeah, apart from funding, you don't want to be, you don't want to go to an expensive school just in case you need to pay. So you can add less than 10K um, to see schools that, are less than ten thousand dollars and this is doctoral so yeah you can see it shows you five graduate schools that you can see for less than 10k for public health if you then want to go and you want more you can just add to the filter and you can see it has increased by 15 so the same way but with this 
with this petersons.com before you go into the um website the individual website you can actually just click on on schools here and they show you like an overview they show you the degrees that are offered in that school or in that program um it just gives you a lot of information like see it's telling you the acceptance rates about 17 percent that's fair um the lower this acceptance rate the other it is to get in um it tells you the deadline like for example if you want to start in this school for 2022 you need to have applied by december 1st of 2021 so it also tells you the requirements, minimum GPA, even if GPA is not part of the filter, yeah, you can see the minimum GPA. So these three tools are really good um, points for you to start, especially if you don't know, if you have an idea what school you want to go to, start your search from these um, tools. And like I said, go into the individual website so that you can see the exact um, requirement for those schools so this is the end of this video i hope you learned a lot especially if um, you've been finding it difficult to actually um, look for a school that best fits your background and um, qualifications um, please use these tools to start your search and like when you 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 get your streamline of schools whether 5 10 20 then you can go into this um, the specific school's website to see the other requirement and see whether they're offering funding or not school fees yeah to know where you actually apply to at the end of the day and um remember my previous video was um or uh, one of my previous video i talked about schools that are not requiring GRE. so in case you've not written the GRE and your other parts of your um application package is strong then you can think of um, applying to those schools because if you do not have your GRE then the other part of your um, package has to be competitive so consider applying to those schools watch the video if you have you've not watched if you have any questions about this application process feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section and I would um, try my best to answer those questions so um if you're not yet subscribed please hit on the red subscribe button click on the like button share comment um and i'll see you guys in my next video bye